Welcome back to your course on object oriented programming using Java. In this video, we are going to cover user inputs. So basically, when you program in Java, there will be a lot of scenarios where you will have to make dynamic programs. By dynamic we mean that your program will be interacting with the user continuously. And to interact with the user, it's very much important that you take their input. And we are going to learn that in this video. So we are back in IntelliJ IDEA and I have created a new Java file by the name of user input demo.java and you can see here we have got our class template the name of the class is user input demo and we have got a public static void main method now inside this method what we will do is we will create a program that will ask for the name and the age of a user when the user will provide his name and age the program will print it out using the print line statement okay so let's start to utilize or rather to use user input facility in java you have to use a class by the name of scanner okay and you have to create an object of the class let's say scan and this will be equal to new scanner and in here you have to provide a parameter and this parameter is known as system dot in so you can remember this in this manner system dot out helps you print out and system dot in helps you taking user input okay but now once we have written the statement you can see uh, the scanner is written in red which basically says that our java compiler is not able to identify what this word is so the reason for that is that the definition of this class is present in a java package okay to import that package we'll have to hit alt enter and it will give you an option you have to import the first one and you can see this line has been added to our code so basically this scanner class is available in java.util package okay now once we have created an object of scanner class that is the scan object now what we'll do is we'll use system.out.println function to print out enter your name and what we'll do is we'll take a variable a string variable let's say name and we'll equate it to the scan object dot next line function okay so just remember this whenever you are trying to take input in string format you have to call the next line function okay and the second thing that we are going to ask from the user is system.println enter the age semicolon and in this case the age would be an integer so let's take a variable int age is equal to again we are going to call the scan object dot next int. okay so remember this if you are receiving a string value you are going to call the next line function and if you're going to call or if you're going to store an integer value you're going to call next int same goes for double float long etc okay so now once you have all of these values now what you will do is you will type system dot out dot print ln we'll type high then we'll again print out system dot out dot print line and this time we'll write the name variable system dot out dot print line and we'll print out your age is we'll give a space and one last thing that we want to print out is system dot out dot print and over here we'll just put the age okay so now what we'll do is we'll run the code You'll we'll select the class that you want to run. In our case, it is user input demo. Okay, so the program has compiled without errors and it's asking me to enter my name. So let's say my name is Rohit. And now it's asking me for my age. Let's say I'm entering my age to be equal to 25. So now if I'll print, if I'll hit enter, you can see it says, Hi Rohit, your age is 25. 
okay so this was a very basic example but you're going to use it a lot so just make sure you're comfortable with this piece of code okay thanks for staying with us we'll meet in the next video